my old mate Silver is, had another good week, continuing its run up unabated, closing the week at $67.14 an ounce uh, US. That's just over $100 Aussie. Um, just been the stellar run this year, up I think it's 130%, something like that for the year. Interesting times. Um, I was looking at the gold and silver ratio. I actually, I put, I put a post up just going back, I think in the middle of last year, when gold went through $2,050 an ounce, that that looked like a a critical time for gold because it had been bumping up against that 2050 for, uh, for years, trying to get through it. And then when it did, I thought um, gold might be uh, on a run, and which it did, it did double and a bit more uh, since then in the last uh, year and a half which sort of sent the gold and silver ratio up over 100, which historically is very high, maybe as high as it's ever been. And now since uh, gold has sort of stagnated around the sort of low 4,000 an ounce, uh, silver's been making its run. So that uh, gold-silver ratio has now come down to around 64, 65, somewhere in there. So it has um, you know, come down a lot, you know, it's come down like 30, 35% or so um, in the last uh, few months. Now, I was looking at, at that ratio over history, and you know, it goes back around 50 years, the, uh, the history of, of that ratio that they've kept. And the lowest it's ever been was around 1980 when silver spiked, uh, the Hunt brothers, and um, that was around 15. So that's interesting. I mean, if it got back to that level, I mean, that would put silver around the over $300 an ounce, around that, around that figure. And who says that it only gets to there? I mean, why can't it go past that figure? Why can't the gold and silver ratio be at an all-time low, you know, set a new, a new record? Which, you know, it could happen. And even if gold does nothing, doesn't go up or down, and silver continues this run, and it it gets to 10, a gold silver ratio of 10, which is possible, and puts silver at over $400 an ounce. Um, I think it's it's something, it's probably very interesting to look at the chart and, uh, and what's going on. And it's just, the thing about silver is, it feels like the perfect storm. You know, everything is adding up. So I'm gonna watch it very closely this week, and uh, yeah. We'll just see what happens. It's Christmas week, so maybe not much, but watch it.